So the Google Play Store has been released on Chrome OS for a little while now, so let's take a quick look. So apparently the Google Play Store is on Chrome OS. For now, it only works on the Asus Chromebook Flip. You must change the Google Chrome's channel to developer release, and you have to be on the latest version of Chrome Dev 53. Don't get too disappointed if you don't want to own a Chromebook Flip as it's still very buggy. Some applications don't even work at all and if they do, they will often force close, freeze up, or be extremely glitchy. And since the Chromebook Flip doesn't support phone calls, SMS, GPS, or even have a rear camera, you are already limited down to applications that don't even use these features. Also, for obvious reasons, custom launchers don't work either. Still, some applications that did work somewhat properly, including most of the Google apps, Twitter, Spotify, Microsoft Word, Slack, Shazam, Skype, Today Calendar, and much more. There were even some powerful applications that surprised me, but worked perfectly on Chrome OS, such as Torrent applications, VLC player, video services such as Netflix or YouTube, and even a file transfer application such as Pushbullet. Still, there are plenty of applications that didn't work properly or even open up, such as Instagram, Photoshop, every third-party launcher, Snapchat, and definitely more. Now, when you run an application, it will open in a window, but that one window will take up more than half of the screen, and there's no way of resizing it. But this will change when the Android 7.0 NuGet update comes to the Chromebook Flip. So, you won't be able to comfortably side-by-side -side two separate applications and multitask, and I'm not going to blame the Chrome OS team for this, it's just Android applications are not really designed for incremental resizing or an OS such as Chrome. As for multitasking with video players, Netflix or YouTube applications generally won't play videos in the background when you take focus off of them. So for now, if you like to watch a video while using another application, just watch the video on their actual website with the pre-installed Google Chrome application until an update fixes this. Gaming was very surprising as I was able to play some graphically intense games without a problem such as Monument Valley, Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, and even Modern Combat 5. Most of these games worked just fine meaning they didn't lag up or freeze up, plus playing video games on a 10 inch display was a great alternative to my OnePlus 3. Of course, there are plenty of games that don't work properly and force close from time to time such as Asphalt 8. A great example of a game that doesn't work properly on the Chromebook Flip, as tilt controls just didn't work, the game defaulted to a resolution of 480p in a maximized window, as the Chromebook Flip isn't accounted for by Gameloft in their playlisting, and the touchscreen was sometimes unresponsive. Plus, when you change orientations on your Chromebook Flip, not just Asphalt 8, but every application goes berserk. It gets so bad that I now need to enable rotation lock when I'm not using the physical keyboard, so will I use Chrome OS for Android gaming? Maybe not yet, but definitely in a future stable release, there's still a lot that needs to be done. Now I can go on and on about all the issues the new Chrome OS developer version brings, such as the taskbar covering most Android apps on launch, which you can try to fix by setting it to auto hide, but nonetheless, it's still an issue. Notification issues, or even the fact that using a mouse and keyboard to navigate through applications is just very frustrating. But that would make for a very long and boring video, and with a software update, both Chrome OS and application issues can be fixed, so instead, I'm just going to leave you with this. Having Android apps on Chrome OS is a big deal for the Android community. Google, for example, has been trying to expand their OS with other platforms besides cellular devices for years now, and they've done so with Android Wear, TV, Auto, Google Glass, and now with Chrome OS. Obviously, this is still a developer release, but the Chrome OS team has been working hard to solve all of these issues. For example, the last update now lets you tell the difference between Chrome Store and Play Store applications with the little icon on the corner of the Chrome apps. And when you switch orientations from within the application, it doesn't freeze up anymore. It just gets a little glitchy. So the potential is there. It's just a matter of time before we start to experience it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more about Android apps on Chrome OS in greater detail, definitely check out David's post on Android Police's website. Link is down below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.